dissatisfied customers can do a lot of damage in a very short space of time. Plus, again, you want to sell them on the satisfaction. So you want them to think that you are so happy with your work that it is the highest quality, and they will hear that. And they will then talk about that to their friends. These guys, they do such a good job and they warranty their work. And that will be um, passed around. Plan to celebrate success, especially if you've got phased deliverables. Make your client aware that you are celebrating because you are happy with the job that you've done. Again, that makes them feel happy. I'm spending good money with a good company. These guys know what they're doing, they do it well, and they know when they're finished. They know when it's working as it should. <coughs> the last thing, fronting up to your clients. Even the developer, like sometimes you can get a project manager or an account manager to do that. The developer still needs to show sometimes. They need to see you and they need to hear your brain tick. It gives them confidence to even have you say something that they don't understand because it's so technical. It's okay as long as there's someone later who can sort of translate part of it. But it gives them confidence that they are buying a good service and a good brain and someone who knows what they're doing. But you can also communicate that you are happy that they are your client that you want to deliver good products to them, that you want to deliver to their needs. The biggest commitment is not your client's dollars. It's their time. And being clear to them at the start that the end product will be of a higher quality if they can give more of their time to review to the prioritization, to talking about the things that have come up, to having a, a staging point to actually go back through it, maybe to have um, some time even looking at the documentation. Again, when it comes to documentation, sometimes that's documented to our standards of what we understand, but if the client is to pick it up and take it away, we also need to make sure it's done to the standard that they understand. So giving them the documentation to review and accepting edits back and say, comments, I don't understand this, what does this mean, or can you clarify, or where is the bit that talks about how I, one of the features of your product? There may be something that you missed. So to satisfy them, have the understanding of what it really is that they do with their business. What is their business purpose and intent? Why are they there? Who do they service? Who are their clients? Help them understand what it is you need. When they want to do something simple, it's actually not that simple when you have to write it in code. Be very clear on prioritization right from the start and building in those review points. And that satisfaction is about engaging them so that they are, they are happy with what they have. They may not have everything, they may not have 100%, but they're happy with what they have. And I tell you what, when they understand your business and they understand that you understand their business, they will then be planning for the next thing. They will then think, okay, we've done this bit. And now I know I have these other things I want to do that were lower priority. So why don't I form another pro project, give them another piece of work. Let's beat this bit in, let's come back and do the next bit. The prioritization um, will help you with that. So at the end, you should successfully conclude the project. Maybe with not everything <coughs> delivered. Maybe with some things dropped out of scope but with your client understanding why, what the value is, and that it's only the really low value things, the things that they have valued low, that's not being delivered. Any questions? Um, when, well, it's about pricing. Um, I don't have a 
great experience with the big customers, but when you you, you agreed on the price and, and, the, and the negotiation were, were, was not in the details of, of uh, every design feature and all that. Then you start working with him. Mm -hmm. Then if we, if we follow this and, and get every priority, critical, nice to have and that, uh, where, when, uh, where is the limit? When can you say, okay, this is not really in the scope of this work. You're asking me really for something that, that's, that's uh, and this will be charged. More. Yes. Yeah. When where, what I would recommend is wherever possible, there is a contingency fund in the price, a, a piece that says at our halfway review point, if there are things that we've identified that is beyond what we have started planning now, then we will talk about whether or not some of that needs to be brought into the price. So if you have a 30,000 euro project, you say let's put 3,000, note that to the side, it's not going to be included unless at our halfway review point, all of the things we're building, all of a sudden there's that extra piece, we put that in. Or you can talk to them using their priorities, you can say this piece is another 3,000 euro, what pieces do we pull out using your priorities so that we can do that? Um, or do we, can we do that in phase two? Another good thing. Phase two. Good idea. We just didn't start with that in mind. Can we do that as phase two? How important is it? Is it needed now? If it's needed now, can we shift other things out? If it's needed now, can we talk about the dollars? Because yes, I can see this is so important. It's such a shame we missed it earlier. It's such a shame you didn't tell me earlier and put it down, you know? Um, but again, it's back to them understanding your business as well. If you've done that bit, then when you come to look at um, putting a, a diagram up for them about what you're doing or engaging them in some way like that, you can show them, look, this is what we've been doing and this is the bit you're asking for more and they can see how big it is and they can then understand and understand why you're being a little hesitant about just how to include it. It's a very nice presentation. This, I mean, you, know, you get a lot of credit on the chat as well. <laughs> but but it, it, it's a, a bit uh, directed to actually uh, large clients, uh, government size clients. Uh, you can do the same thing with the small ones. Serious. No problem is you know, you get something to work that will take X hours. To get something to work and get it documented, that's X hours times two, because mm -hmm. you actually double the, the time. And um, but then you can to get it tested, it's X times three. Yes. And to get it working on the Internet Explorer, it, that's X times three. <laughs> <laughs> X times. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. But then I'm that's also what you can give to the client. Um, yeah. You can it's say this to the client good. right at the oh. front. We do this bit. If we want the full-scale documentation and review, this is extra. If you want the full-scale all-browser testing, this is it. So you actually give them the choice and they can prioritize what they want. And, and that way you may actually upsell to them because suddenly they decide that actually it's quite important. And so my 1,000 euro project now becomes a 3,000 euro project. But come on, he has to do all the boring stuff, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's where you engage someone cheap to do that. <laughs> 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 